So Mike, as part of your testimonial year this year, there's been a number of events organised already successfully, and then there's another one organised for Sunday. Can you just tell us a little bit about what that involves? Yeah, we've, um, I think with my testimonial side of things, it was a way of wanting to get sort of fans a bit more engaged with players and, you know what I mean, ex-players and stuff, and also um, the engagement with like the football community, because sort of my time being here, I've been to a lot of their projects, what they do, which is obviously they're a charity, and um, they do a lot of work within, within Nottingham try and help people and it was a way I think this year wanting to do that and try and help help them um, sort of with the like funding with things so, so it's, a, it's a joint venture with us both to try and, and get the awareness for them and also obviously help, help support some of the funds that they that they do which is a great cause um, I mean we played I remember last year we played for the Jimmy and Jack fund it was a it was a great game because it was obviously ex sort of Forest legends against obviously ex ex county legends and it's um, the, the, it's a good game to be at so it's a, it's it's a competitive game and um, it's great to see sort of them like players that you've seen over the years really from both teams um, sort of back out on the field play, playing again um, and they are they're a good they're a good event and I know um, obviously previously they've been supported really well and it's uh, as I say it's good that if you can get a good crowd behind you as well it's um, they are a good day and a good event to be at um, I know. On top of that, speaking to um, obviously near the football community, he's, he's putting events on for the kids to come down, and, and um, so it's a bit more of a community day. So there's some little events for them to, to get on and do, um, and to, to enjoy it, to get the kids down, and, and just just to have a nice feel about it all. That was the whole point with my with my testimonial. I just, as I say, I think um, the fans are a big part of, of any club, and it's it's a way of just trying to get them involved more with the whole, whole sort of club and, and the awareness of, of the, the things that other people are doing for, for the football club and away from the football club. So Mike Edwards approached Football in the Community um, with regards to this event, his third event in the, his testimonial year, uh, wanted to get a community feel for, for the day so perfect, uh, we were delighted to be asked, uh, we felt we could add something to the day and raise our profile at the same time. So. Mike's taken his ideas of having the Legends match from Notts County and Nottingham Forest players and we've adapted that and turned it more into a family community day which Mark, uh, Mike's been a, a fantastic part of. We've organised lots of different activities around the day to make it, give it more of a family feel, more of a community feel and um, add a children's element and we've also been able to promote it very strongly to the schools that we work within throughout Nottinghamshire. So, so it was great that you were able to support Jimmy and Jack statue fund last year and this year you've chosen Football in the Community which is the football club's charity so that's fantastic that you've linked up with them. Um, obviously with having an event last year there might be slightly different names, can you just tell us some of the players for both teams, Notts County and for Nottingham Forest, the legends that you're bringing back for this uh, this Sunday's game? Yeah, it's uh, they are the two sort of strongest teams really to be fair, um, I know that for Forest obviously I mean like Des Walker, Steve Hodge are playing. Um, We've got obviously Craig Westcar, obviously from our promotion year. I know he's, he's actually playing for them. I tried my, my best to get him to obviously be playing for us, but he's uh, he's already been selected for for them. But on the other side of it, for for us, I managed to get obviously Ricky Ravenhill's coming down. Of, again, another one from our promotion year, which which is good. Um, like so, for some of the play, other players I've played with, obviously uh, Jason Lee coming down, um, Jamal Campbell Rice, which obviously I know he's sort of current player, sort of still playing, but I know he's he had a great, he's got a great rapport with the uh, with the fans um, for the times when he's been here. So it'd be great to to see him running up and down that wing again, to be honest. And um, obviously the last guy, obviously having a, a benefit uh, sort of year here was obviously Ian Richardson, who does again does a lot of work with the football and community and uh, a bit of an ambassador for them and, and works works for them. So it's uh, there's a few players I've obviously played with. With and against, which I'm sort of looking forward to to doing. So it's a good, going to be all around good day, really, and a good event to, to be at. Great, and there's some uh, reasonably big names on the pulling on a red shirt on Sunday as well. Is there a couple of players you can tell us about who'll be playing against you? Who you'll be lining up against? Yeah, I was. I mean, I've 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 played obviously with a, with an other sort of some other charity games and 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 and, uh, and against as well. So obviously, De I mean, Desi Walks obviously I know he's a legend of a of that side and. I mean, I always remember before I actually played played with him. People used to say, you know, what I mean, it's uh, best, it's one of the best defenders, one of the best players. You know, I mean, players of a, of a, of a obviously playing it for Forest, and I actually played with him once in one game, and I just remember, wow, actually, it's uh, what they said is true. Because as I say, it's it's one of them. He seems to have like a force field round him because nobody can get, actually get near him, and he's, uh, he's just so calm, so calm and relaxed on the ball. He's, uh, as I say, it's bit, when I managed even uh, managed to play with him, it was a great sort of. 
great thing to be, play play with him. To be fair, um, so as I say, I know he's a legend over that side. So looking forward to obviously playing actually against him for a change this time. Um, as I said, I know I think as obviously Matt, like Mal Hare was coming up to, to play, which I know he's recently with, with the whole West Ham thing. I remember seeing him on telly recently, sort of uh, supporting supporting the West Ham side of it. I know as I say, he's coming up to have a game as well. Gates will open at the front of the Derek Pavey stand um, at 12 at midday. So loads of activities for the kids um, and adults as well. So best thing probably is that uh, kids under 16 accompanied by an adult are absolutely free with adults just being £5. So turn up on the turnstile for 12 o'clock. Kickoffs at 2 and in, in between that 12 and 2 o'clock we've got a whole host of activities behind the Derek Pavey stand which will be our kids fan uh, area for the day. So we'll have Bouncy castles, we'll have football in the community inflatables, we'll have balloon models, face painters, ice cream vans, fingers crossed for good weather and a variety of other activities so we're encouraging the family to come down, let the kids enjoy all the activities that we've put on and then make their way into the Derek Pavis stand to enjoy the game which kicks off at two o'clock so hopefully there's a, a bit of fun for all the family really with the, with the kids and the adults so yeah great reasons to come down. So you'd encourage any Notts County fans and Nottingham Forest fans to come down on Sunday. I know the tickets are available online or, or on the day itself. Yeah, definitely. It's it's as I say, it's it's a it's a community day, so it's a, it's a family day type thing. So we wanted to get um, sort of many kids kids down to come down and be, have a chance to meet meet players as well. So as I say, be all there for any any signings, autographs, and things can come meet, see the players sort of after the game, before the game, during the game, be able to see them on the sidelines. Say when we're playing and that, and um, I think as I say after last year's game, it was it was it was a good good turnout, and I think it's again. Like, like coming up with a build up with obviously the main game in pre season, I think it's a, a game that could be quite a, should be quite a regular thing. So I think it's a great way for for both clubs, not just as I say, and, uh, as in rivals type thing, but a way for Nottingham football um, to sort of come together really to to obviously celebrate obviously ex 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 players who've played with the teams who were who were legends in, in of the different eras, but also as I say as a. As a, as a game for obviously the, um, the main teams when they play pre, pre season, it's a it's a great way for to try and put Nottingham as a footballing city on sort of on the map really.